this game in the next on the map, Deadwing. Over here in the upper left, we have our Zerg player already winning game number one. SK Telecom T1 Soki. Looking good after that first win. Mixing in a nice cheese. And in the bottom right, we have the team captain, the Jinair Wings. Jinair Green Wings Terminator. All right, so we got to talk about Terminator for a second. Okay. Um, so Terminator all, 3, best Terminator, right? Oh, yeah, hands down. That's Easily. definitely definitely the Wait. scariest uh, robot for the future. Wait, no, no. no. Terminator Wait, 3. Terminator 4 was the one with the guy that was actually a robot that thought he was a guy, right? Terminator 3 was... Oh, I haven't actually seen Terminator 4. Wait, I think... Maybe I'm off. Maybe there was Spoiler alert. I'm trying to think which one was Terminator... If there was a you Terminator, Terminator 4. You don't want Terminator to be spoiled. Don't listen to the last thing. Which one are we talking about? Well, there's the first one, uh, which is great with uh, Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. The, the first second one, good. second one, probably the best one. Oh, yeah. The second the one, I think everyone agrees that is like one of the cases where the, the sequel is better than the original. Yeah. And then there's the third one where I almost killed myself in the movie theater, especially during that scene where the robot made her boobs get bigger when the policeman came by. Do you remember this scene? It was like the most oh, cringe thing I've ever seen God. in a movie. It was so bad. Okay, okay. It was bad. Yeah, okay, there you was a Terminator 4. It was called Terminator Revelation. Now Terminator I remember Revelation, Terminator 3 yeah. because Terminator 3 is like how they got John Connor to the bunker when when stuff went down, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then there was number 4, which was actually tasteless. You should just go watch. I don't is even it worth spoil saying? it. Is it worth saying? You already spoiled it. <laughs> Yeah, the guy. I'm sorry, Tasteless. The guy. I don't, I don't have the best. The guy thinks man, he's a guy, but he's actually memory. a robot. Okay, and it's. I don't know. I I wasn't. I I thought it would be better than it was. But Terminator. My favorite scene in Terminator is when uh. <laughs> when he goes from door to door. See <laughs> Alcana. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> Shoots her. Yeah. Doesn't take long to find uh, the relationship between all those murders. I don't know. They're all they're all women. It's like, what's, what, what's this one's name? Sarah Connor. What was the other one's names? Well, I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're all named Sarah Connor. Actually, you know, the first one, I mean, you look back, it's actually a really good movie. I'm going to change really... my name to Sarah Connor and wait with, like, a shotgun next to my door to kill the Terminator <laughs> when he comes. <laughs> all right, we got a uh, spawning pull finish up at six legs now being made. Tries to get on an airplane to come to Korea to get Sarah Connor, and like TSA just jumps on him. He's like, "You're made out of metal. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get on this plane." We should have said the T-1000. Well, no, he's made out of liquid metal, right? <laughs> so this is actually kind of similar to what we were seeing before. A lot of lings being made. He wants to get in here, and he wants to mess up this wall. And now, this is kind of like a cool metagame move that Sulky's doing because uh, this type of build. Now, this map, I think it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, to block than Foxtrot. Uh, he might not get this but block up, though. Yeah, no, he, he may not. This might actually just get in. This is like the timing of these blocks, though. He knows what it's like. And, uh, you know, this is something that Terminator has to really focus on. Like, he should be cutting probes at this point if he if he can figure out what's what's coming for him. Oh, God, he makes a Stargate. Stargate. Okay, it's at the wall. No, it's at the wall. And that's actually really important. And now he sees this, so he can actually block this. Now okay, he, so Terminator's yeah. at least going to get into the early game here. Uh, not just fall apart and die. Yeah, it, this is actually really important. He needs to just keep that mothership core out there. Uh, might try to force it. No, he's not going to be able to force any sort of cancel. So this is actually a nice opener for Terminator. Uh, of course, he made the, the Stargate in the wall, and so that's not going to be hidden. I wonder if it's going to be an Oracle or Phoenixes here. Hard to say. Wouldn't it be surprised if he goes Phoenixes just because it's shown? Because a spotted Oracle, like... Well, Half the power of Oracles, react. they yeah. may not see it coming. If they get blindsided by it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think you're probably right. He'll probably will go Phoenixes here. Uh, not much these links can do over here at the entrance. So, Protoss uh, <laughs> is just going to keep taking He's going to go for an Oracle, actually, okay. right there at the entrance. It's still useful, even if they see it. Even if they have the spores up, at least you do cause some spores. You get some good scouting. And if you want to take a quick third against someone who has speed links, the Oracle can help out a lot. Kills links very quickly. Oh, All late right. third from Sulky coming down. Yeah. Just going to keep massing up here. Uh, they are very far apart from each other in these the spots on this map. So Zerg can expand pretty freely. Actually take a fourth base pretty easily as well, uh, which is important to note. Because mm. Zerg on four bases, they can really power up. Yeah. But this is a kind of a low economy uh, play from Sulky here. He's got only 37 drones still. 
And you know, this Oracle, I actually, the more I think about it, I do like the, the play of going Oracle as opposed to Phoenix here because, okay, like, he's going to have to make spores, right? And that's expensive when you have 37 drones and you have a very late third base. Oh, and he actually turns the Oracle around. Is there two queens at the natural? It could he be. He only took one hit there. The thing is, if one queen is trying to target you down, are we blind and he already made the spores? I don't think he has the spores there, man. I don't know why he turned that around. What's weird about it is that we never seen Oracle go all the way across the map and not attempt to harass every I, location with drones. Yeah, I think that it was like a poke because he thought that there should... Okay, so he didn't actually have Oracles, um, but, I mean, didn't actually have spores. But, okay, yeah, he had two Just queens. Double queen defense. Against two queen, you don't get many kills. Um, but, well, you know, he brought it home and to defend against Lings, maybe. Well, I mean, I can't really blame the guy, especially how game... Uh, one went. Mm. Um, you you, you got to keep in mind, someone uh, who plays a game like game one uh, and is in Terminator's position is going to be very shaken. Yeah. Probably for the rest of the day today because think of how many, you're a professional gamer, how many games of StarCraft do you play every day? Yeah. And then to have them, it all boil down to a game like that where everything falls apart, I mean, yeah. that's a stressful moment. That's uh, that see, true. We see Protoss Tekken at Avoid Rays getting the Twilight uh, mm -hmm. Council here. And just upgrading weapons attack here. Meanwhile, uh, Sulky just droning up like crazy back at home. Wow. <laughs> Keeps that Overlord alive. Well done. I do like this revelation quite a bit. This shows the power of the Oracle that even if, uh, you know, you don't get any drone kills, this is actually super useful. Look at him. He's He basically has to see if there's any tech there. Okay, there's no tech there still. Well, he flies around the Oracle because it's so fast he can still scout, so... Good job here from Terminator on the scouting, and he's chosen a great build order. He's got a safe third base. Sulky tried for an early rush once again, didn't do anything, and canceled it out. So uh, I would say right here, Oracle. I mean, Oracle. I would say right here, Tasteless, that uh, Terminator has a lead. Yeah, he's looking like he's in great shape. Um, the oh. build went perfectly fine. We now have a range attack coming in here, and we have a Terminator taking up to the Temple Archives, but it. Looks like Sulky's gonna go for swarm hosts here. Yeah, this is huh. really interesting. I, I mean, was really caught off guard by this. This is not what I was expecting to see him do. Well, even more so than that, I'm caught off guard by the fact that we actually have charge plus two in the Templar Archives coming because like the standard right now is to go plus two blink. Like that is everyone's going Oracle and it's plus two blink on three bases. It's a really strong build. It can counter anything and puts on pressure. But this is something different. This is something kind of cool. The thing is, Zealots don't do so well against Swarm Hosts. Turns out, not so much Artosis. No. Locusts are all they right. They can try to juke and jive around the Locust, but it yeah. just doesn't tend to work out. Okay, we have the Oracle being picked off now. Nicely done there by Sulky. Right before any Swarm Hosts pop out, too. Yeah, um, this could completely uh, knock Terminator off his feet here. Yeah. Well. See, so he's making nine roaches now. Uh, we have Sulky finishing up almost all of his tech now, getting blank here. This is like a, almost like a StarCraft 1-esque build. Look at yeah. this. The, the plus two is going to be finishing up. He's got charge. And now he sees the Locust and realizes, ah, this charge might not do too this. much. Yeah, He's well, getting, getting a Warp Prism at least. That's really know, good with charge a lot. What advantage um, for Sulky right now is just the way the fourth is located. It's really easy to actually hold with Swarm Host, the third and the mm -hmm. fourth. I mean, you basically have all the all the expansions here knotted up into a nice compact little corner, which yeah. makes it much more doable for the Zerg and to feel safe. And these spots, Swarm Hosts are really quite great. You can easily cover, like, basically five bases with them, you know? The Swarm Host just going towards the center of the map will cover four. And then that other one, like, you have to go around a very specific and long path to attack. So, He's I really like the choice. I'm really actually quite liking this game so far, even though not like a whole lot has happened. These guys have chosen a lot of intelligent strategies. We do now see uh, Terminator coming up this narrow uh, area up here in the uh, top center. I don't think this is going to be too much of a problem here for Sulky. Yeah. I mean, out of all the ways to not attack a Swarm House, it's probably through a bridge that narrow. <laughs> yeah, you're quite right. I mean, but there's, you a know lot of there's a lot of wrong ways uh. to attack. Uh, a player, but that might be the most wrong way to do it. Now he's warping in over here. Uh, oh Zerg should see this due to the creep tumor, so we see uh, now the Roach is coming up yeah. here to attack this as well. And it looks like he is attacking it right now. We're not showing that on screen, but uh, he does poke back up there, hoping that the Storm Host sent units elsewhere. Okay, so so far, uh, well, that was. I think Terminator's build was good, but the execution of pretty much everything he's done has not been good. 
Yeah, you know, that's that warping was totally fail fish right there, Tasteless. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I gotta be. Oh, hold on, actually. This might be something that will work out. Uh, if he can't get any transfusers up on this hatch over here. Oh, nice snipe. Okay, there we go. It's something going right in Terminator's direction. That's right. I was, uh, that was quite well done. He is making Colossus as well. He's mixing in Void Rays also. I'm a little so. bit worried, though. Uh, Zerg's already maxed out. I mean, he can remake that hatch. Probably hit the uh, mm. Protoss pretty hard here. We've got Vipers in play as well. Oh, my God. What's the Roachhorn shooting at those Vipers? <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of it like that, did you? Yeah. Tasteless? Wow, you just blew my mind. Yeah. That was like one of those things where I thought I'm like this, Morpheus. I thought the cube was pointed at me one way, and then you're like, it can also be pointed inward, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sulky's now coming down, and I think I think uh, Terminator might be in a lot of trouble here. This fourth base can easily be denied, but. More importantly is the third, because not only is, there, is a Nexus at the third, but all those gates are there as well. Mm. So let's see if he can hang on here. Uh, pretty rough. This is well, we, Yeah, we really have this little counter just... Zelt harass, which is nice. I mean, he's definitely going to kill off this yeah. hatch. It looks well, like he might win that battle, well. but he's probably going to lose the war here. Uh, yeah. We have what? the gateway wall be torn down. Now He's going to be careful to not lose those Vipers. He doesn't let them, yeah. get, let them get harpooned. The Vipers uh, are the most important part here. Right, he Vipers I'm, out those... Uh, yeah, I was Those gonna Colossus. Say, you, yeah, you don't want to let the uh, Colossus and Harpoon look like coming now, and immediately Perfectly they done. are destroyed. Uh, I think. I think that's. I think this is going to be an it. unceremonious ending. Yeah. Cases. Um, not as much hype with this. Uh, the end of this game, I think uh, he's doing a good job harassing, but there's just too much stuff over here for Zerg at the entrance of Terminator's base. We had, I believe there were six gateways to start with. Now we have the remaining three that are unpowered. So you have to think of how much uh, Protoss cannot make compared to before. Yeah. Well, I mean, this this is about it. Like, he can stay in the game, I guess, because he's got double Robo Colossus. He can probably live for a decent amount of time. But, like, he's so far from being able to do anything else, even against a three-base player. It's pretty rough. The thing is, I, I wouldn't leave here either. I mean, well, make I mean, some it's guy's entire career is on the line here. I mean, mm. he's got to try whatever he can do. But, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, what else? There's, there isn't a lot that he okay. could have done. Well, we definitely saw the better player win there. Yeah, it, I don't think that surprises anyone that Sulky just no. tromps poor Terminator. Well, good luck to Terminator. He's not out of this group yet. He's going to be in the loser's match. But it definitely looks like he's got a very tough road ahead of him. His diagnosis is terminal tasteless. <laughs> I don't think he's going to the next round. <laughs> well, there you have it. Sulky um, could, in our winner's match, end up just getting being the first to get out of this group. He could, but both of his potential future opponents here are very, very difficult one. Byung, of course, with yeah. the new improved Terran race against Zerg, and then Stats, who just beat him uh, in the Pro League Finals this past weekend. We're going to be going to that match, Byung versus Stats, after this short break, so don't go anywhere.